Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to Heather Rose Up. I am Heather. This is my channel where I document my weight loss journey and healthy lifestyle journey while following WW. If you'd like to see how I did with my goals that I made for myself last week, keep watching. Good morning. It is Thursday. I would love to be able to say that I'm having a great week and things have been busy um, and that's why I haven't recorded. Usually I'm recording on a Monday, starting my video out on a Monday and I am struggling this week <laughs> and not horribly, but um, I realized and I was thinking about it this morning that um, I was thinking about just skipping this week with recording because I'm struggling and just start back up next week. And that doesn't, you know, it's easy to record how you're doing when you're doing well on this journey. It's easy for me to record how I'm doing when I'm doing well. But I do take pride in the fact that I'm honest on my channel. And if you're just starting your journey out thinking that it's always going to be easy or it's always going to you're going to always have good weeks. That's not the case. And I want to share my struggles, even though it's hard to talk about for those of you who know, or who might be struggling and saying, you know, thinking, well, other people aren't struggling. They are. <laughs> They're just not going to open up and share because that's, that's okay too. But in this journey and on my channel, I try to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, and the pretty so I can look back on it to see, you know, how I'm doing because sometimes I will even compare myself with how I was doing. I can't tell you how many times this year I have compared how I did this year as to how well I did last year. This year's a hell of a lot different, isn't it? <laughs> or 2020. You get what I'm saying. Um, compared to 2019. So it's so easy to compare your journey with somebody else's when you might not see not might not, you definitely don't see the entire picture. So <laughs> here I am talking about it. And I did, if you didn't see last week's video, make sure you check it out up here. Um, I did pre-track up until two days ago. So yesterday and the day before. Um, actually, I did pre-track yesterday and the day before, but I went off track and ate foods because I wanted to eat it and I said I'm not going to track it and was just having one of those days. Yesterday I had one thing <laughs> that I didn't track and I know I can go back and track it, but we're going to just stop right here and move forward um, because this happens. Bumps in the road will happen. I did not get my fit on activity done at all and I'm going to be completely honest with that. My water I was doing great up until two days ago. And I realized, you know, the day before yesterday when I decided I wasn't going to track everything, that's when the all or nothing mindset started to kick in and I started to spiral out of control and forget that I was in control and just said, well, if I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do this. What's the point of doing that? You know, like this feeling for me personally comes and goes. And I just feel that it is very necessary to share this part of the journey because I can guarantee, I can guarantee that most of us, if not all of us, go through these times where we struggle. So I'm trying to give myself grace, but at the same time, I don't want to make excuses. So I'm struggling with that balance of that mindset. Uh, yesterday, I just so happened to receive a text message from one of my friends, Caitlin, if you're watching, <laughs> and uh, my friend Julie, who I've mentioned before, we were in a WW workshop, um, the physical workshop, before all of this happened, and we used to really help each other, and we still do occasionally, and out of the blue, Caitlin text messages me, and it was like exactly what I needed, so... Um, I don't know why I go like three weeks of doing great and then all of a sudden this mindset kicks in where it's like, well, I've been doing great. What's, you know, what's, what's going to hurt? What's it going to hurt if I don't track for a day? It becomes a habit. And it's funny because I have mentioned in a couple video or a couple videos ago that I have plans this weekend, Valentine's Day weekend. <clears throat> it is also my daughter's birthday. We are uh, doing a mini getaway and we have foods planned and uh, my intention was to not track on Saturday and Sunday and then go back on a Monday but the difference is I'm planning for that 
yesterday, I didn't plan for that. And my goal was to track fully and stay on plan up until that weekend. But for whatever reason, I struggled with that. And it is what it is. But anyway, so my friend text messaged me and I said, this is perfect timing. So I'm going to give it my all. She, Caitlin, Julie and I are going to hold each other accountable and we're going to text each other. And my plan is Thursday, today, tomorrow, Friday, to really just stay on plan, stay focused, enjoy my weekend. I'm not going to punish myself and say, well, I, I messed up last week, so I can't have this, this, and this this weekend. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give myself grace. However, starting Monday, I will start back over again, just like I did around the holidays, and just really keep that in mind. We're not having, we're, it's not like we're going to have lots of leftovers. We're going to get takeout. So it's not like I'll have those tempting foods still around on Monday. So I'm saying it now and just trying to talk my way through this. I have had a couple of emotional days also and just life. <laughs> uh, it's not always going to be perfect. And, but I need to buckle up. I really, I, I know that I can do this. And for whatever reason, I let myself go undisciplined, even though I have been doing really a really good job with being staying disciplined for the past three weeks but it is what it is and today's a new day i pre-tracked my day i do want to get in my 48 ounces of water i'm gonna hold off on the i just so happen to get a text message from my my friends i was just talking about anyway um i'm gonna hold off on the physical activity i'm just gonna like get through today and tomorrow and stay focused enjoy my weekend and then jump back on on monday and maybe have some sort of physical activity goal for next week since I'm going to be away, I'm trying to figure out how I, will be, how I will be able to upload my video. Tomorrow I'm going to do a quick weigh-in and a reflection. I'm probably going to have this ready to go for Sunday, which means I probably won't do any like post-workshop reflecting. But um, I do, I think it's important because to share this, this part of my journey instead of just skipping through because that would be the easy thing to do, say, oh, I'm going away. Let's just ignore the fact that I'm struggling I, and I don't want to do that. So I'm glad I'm talking about it now. I will reflect on Friday about my weigh-in and we'll go from there. So the next clip will be me talking about my weigh-in and hopefully it's, it's, I'm not weighing in until tomorrow and we'll just, we'll see what the data says. Okay. Happy Friday. It is Friday and I am doing an update now because I am going away this weekend. Like I mentioned before, I did do my weigh-in this morning and I want to reflect on how things have been going this week. Um, because I want to be open and honest about my struggles as well as my successes. And this week was a bit of a struggle. I'm not really sure why it wasn't even that big of a struggle. I had approximately one and a half days of being off track <laughs> and for whatever reason, and I'm just going to say what my weigh-in was now. And then anyway, I weighed in and I weighed in at 199.2, which means I gained 2.2 pounds. And I want to scream. <laughs> Have you ever been in this part of your journey where you just like are so frustrated, you feel defeated, you're having a hard time staying positive and you want to scream? That's me today, right now. And I'm so frustrated because the past two weeks, it took me two weeks prior, or the two weeks prior to this week, it took me two weeks to lose those 2.2 pounds. Why is it, <laughs> why is it that I have been off track, kind, kind of, because I did track some, I wasn't even completely off track, but why did one and a half days, how did I gain that back when it took me two weeks to lose it? That's frustrating. <laughs> but. I try to think of the positives and I know that that happens and I'm trying to remind myself of that and I'm trying to remain positive and understand it's not always going to be easy. I'm trying to reflect. I did not accomplish. Obviously, I, I didn't accomplish my goals this week. That's okay. It is what it is. And I'm not going to let it deter me. Today is Friday and I'm still planning on going away this weekend and I'm still planning on not tracking this weekend and starting back on, on Monday. I'm not going to punish myself because of my mishap 
and for gaining weight. That's that's not the mentality that I want to want to have. I had planned to take those days off to enjoy myself and I'm going to do that. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to throw away today. Today is Friday. I pre-tracked my day out today. I'm going to get in my water and uh my plan is to not really my plan is to not go more than a couple points into my weeklies because I want to be able to balance the weekend. And I know I can do that because I did that most most of last week, believe it or not. <laughs> so my goal, um, and I've been texting my friends, like I mentioned before, and it's just, you know, it's it's good to know you're not alone when you're struggling. So if you're watching this saying, you know, and I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm, it's not always like, yay, I did it. You know, it's not always, that's not how the journey looks at all. It is like, you know, peaks and valleys and ups and downs and... <sighs> I'll get there. I am determined to get there. I will just keep pushing forward. That's all I can do. I plan on continuing with the purple plan starting on Monday. I'm not really sure how I want to do things with the weeklies um, because of my uh, more indulgent weekend. Um, but my goal is to track and, and to stay on plan and not go too far into my weeklies because likely I will be using all of my weeklies over the weekend. Um, so to track, to get in 48 ounces of water a day and leave it at that. I'm struggling. I'm feeling overwhelmed. So I'm going to try to keep it simple to, to stay on plan as best as I can. I think this weekend will help with a reset mindset where I can just relax. We're going to uh, an Airbnb and we're, it's just, we're just getting change of scenery and we're going to be doing things um, socially distant and it's just, I'm looking forward to it <laughs> and maybe it'll help me with my restart on Monday. So I apologize if this isn't the my usual bubbly peppy self. I'm happy I'm not crying and screaming on camera right now, but part of me wants to because the, these are my feelings. This is this is how a struggle, you know, a, a difficult, challenging week goes. And it is what it is. I'm still gonna freaking push forward. <laughs> And I'm not going to allow the all or nothing mindset to completely take control. So, I mean, it has an, to an extent, but I'm not stopping. I'm not going to give up and I'm just going to push forward and put this week behind me because that's that's where it's going. It's not going to continue to go in front of me. And that, I have a new week in front of me. So <sighs> I hope you found this video helpful. If you did in any way, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button so you can continue to follow along on my roller coaster journey. <laughs> I hope you have a great week and I will see you in my next update. Bye guys.